Good morning here from Penfield, New York. This is Scott speaking to you, and I'm, we're going to do a little walk around on my uh, 2005 Cadillac Escalade, which is directly in front of me, and I'll, I'll switch around here. Okay, so here we are, 2005 Cadillac Escalade that I've done, uh, been doing some work to, and uh, I want to show you a little bit about what we got going on. We'll start out in the engine bay. <clears throat> So I purchased a uh, cold air intake system for LS engines through a gentleman online, uh, through, through uh, Marketplace. And uh, pretty nice unit. I had, to, uh, I had to cut off this end. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't sized right for having the uh, MAF sensor and all that stuff. So anyway, I've got a couple of little Spectre connectors on there. Um, nice... Uh, Nice four inch tube going into the throttle body. All right. With a KN ish type of filter. It might be a Spectre or whatever. AutoZone special. But you see, I also have, um, I'm putting in some new coil packs and uh, wires that I got online, um, actually Chinese, but they seem to be working pretty good. Um, the only problem is just trying to get the, uh, trying to get the old spark plugs out of here. It's a real pain in the ass on these LS engines. At least on my Escalade it is. And I got one done on the other side, so I actually had to go through the firewall, or not the firewall, but the fender well here. <clears throat> had to make that hole there. You see? All right. There it is. And I had to use like a, you know, two and a half with three foot extension to get at the son of a bitch, but I got it, and it took quite a while to do it. So I'm going to do the same thing down here, do a little hole saw through the uh, through the inner fender well, and uh, tackle the rest of those plugs in here. Because you can see, it's not real easy to get at with all the shit in here. So, anyhow. We're gonna do uh, we're gonna do a walk down, walk down around. So here it is from the front. Oh, I really love the really love the looks of the uh, 2005 or that that 2000. I think up to 2007, I believe, um, has this uh, uh, this body style. So we'll do a quick walk around on the on the car. Got a little bit of touch up paint and stuff I need to do had some paint fade on it so I did some initial coating on it I'll come back a little bit here see the Escalade badge on the side love it love it pretty nice wheels on here came with this one my center cap came off at uh, uh, probably at the car wash and they weren't they did not find it so I'm gonna have to order another one off of eBay coming around the back here all right, got a couple stickers on the back. Iron Smoke, or Iron Smoke Whiskey, also a great concert venue here in, uh, actually in Fairport, New York. Great spot, love it. Debbie Supply, if you can't find it there, you won't find it anywhere. Hardware place. All right, going around this way. The wheel's in pretty good shape. Got a little bit of, a little bit of uh, corrosion on there and stuff, but not too bad. Okay, coming up around this side. And back to the front. Okay, so what I'm gonna what I'm gonna attempt to do now is set up the camera so we can uh, start the truck up. I recently put in uh, a pair of Black Widow neighbor hater mufflers, which I, I just love the name. Love that. As soon as I heard it, I had to have it. And then I checked out a couple clips online. They sounded really good. So I decided to put them on the Escalade. So what I had was I took out the old stock dual in, dual out scenario. And I put in basically a true dual system with two of the Black Widow neighbor hater mufflers going into the four inch pipe that goes out the back. So I've got pretty much true dual all the way down. And I love the way it sounds with both chain, with both uh, left and right side 
coming through that four inch pipe as opposed to having the dual all the way back because it would have cost me a whole lot more money too so anyway let me uh let me grab something i'm gonna grab this tape here i'm gonna use that to prop my camera in the back we'll take a walk down here Anyway, the truck only has about 110,000 miles on it. I picked it up for $2,200 in Newark, New Jersey, this truck. I saw it on uh, Messenger. I told my wife, I said, you know what? I'm taking a train down to Newark. You might hate me, but I'm taking a train down and I'm gonna pick up this Escalade for $2,200. I don't even know if it's gonna make it all the way back. I hope it does, and it did. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this baby up. Okay, we'll see how that looks. Okay, looks like I got everything in frame here. So let me go ahead and start this baby up. And I'll give a rev on it too. So you get an idea of the, you know, the idle and also when it's revved. that sound pretty nice huh you betcha black widow neighbor hater mufflers this is the shit so anyway back to the truck i'm gonna wrap it up here but i'm getting ready to put um i've got a front air dam i'm gonna be putting on it and i wanted to capture the truck before i did that picked it up off of ebay for uh 60 bucks probably chinese but you know what i don't care because it's going to look awesome on here. And I also have a GT style rear hatch boiler that's going to balance this whole uh, thing out in the back. I already got the already got the built-in side skirts, heavy duty. And anyway, this uh, the rear hatch boiler is going to be like right up here and it's going to come out fold down around this way and shit. It's going to look really good, but anyway, you can see it now before I do that. So thank you for watching, and I'll, uh, you'll uh, see some new videos soon. Take care now.